Each week, American History TV's American Artifacts takes viewers behind the scenes at archives, museums, and historic sites. Using works of art, mechanical inventions, and scientific discoveries, the Great American Hall of Wonders exhibit examines innovation in 19th century America. American History TV attended a press preview and toured the Smithsonian American Art Museum, Museum show with guest curator Claire Perry. This is Margaret Knight's paper bag maker. And this would have been the kind of model anyone who had an invention that they wanted to submit a patent application for needed to send a model that showed how the device was new and useful so the inspectors, the examiners could try it out to see if it really was novel. And this was one of hundreds of thousands of models that would have been found at the patent office in Washington, D.C. And Margaret Knight was a young girl when she worked in the textile factory in New England where a lot of the machinery was injuring people because the shuttles wouldn't stop when a thread broke and fingers and arms got mangled and people even got killed. And Margaret decided to take that up and fiddled with a, a device at home. She was only 12 and she came up with an invention that was that would stop the shuttles when there was any kind of a break in a thread and it prevented many, many in injuries and people were very grateful and they found it hard to believe that a 12-year-old had invented such a thing. And Margaret later went on to invent a paper bag maker uh, which had a flat, flat bottom and uh, is still used uh, today in our, in our uh, little brown bags that we might get at the pharmacy. But if you think about the period of time, Margaret Knight, uh, as a woman, was supposed to devote all of her energies to the domestic sphere, to raising children, to cooking, uh, to embroidery. And so she was quite bold and daring in submitting her inventions to the patent office, which was one of the most egalitarian places.